Hi everybody! As you probably don't know, I am a double major at my college, university, college, university place. My primary major and my career path of choice is TV production, hence these videos. My second and completely unrelated major though is linguistics, hence the somewhat pretentious language I use frequently and accidentally. Anyway, I preface the rest of this video by saying that most of the linguists I have ever met are very nice people. Strange, but very nice. So I mean all of the following with no disrespect, and I'll just throw out the reminder that I'm a total nerd about all of this stuff. So, you know, disclaimers, I guess. Like most of the academic world, linguistics has a very real potential to sound extremely pretentious. Unlike in other parts of the academic world, however, language is a thing that most people seriously take for granted. Talking a lot about language is kind of like talking a lot about poop, in the sense that they are both things that we produce out of our bodies without very much thought, and also they kind of make people uncomfortable when you bring them up in conversation. Except. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that people think more about poop than they do about language. The thing about linguistics is that it's invented all of these extremely complicated and convoluted means of talking about things that are actually very mundane, like word order and prefixes and, like, letters. And that's why I'm here. From a not really a linguist with an almost complete degree in linguistics, this is How to Speak Like a Linguist, complete with easy-to-follow, regular person subtitles. Because you all really wanted to know. This morphophonological construction poses a difficulty in articulation, frequently causing a metathesis of the word-initial closed syllables. The reversed theta argumentation of the passive sentential construction poses a difficulty in comprehension and articulation for patients with agrammatic broca's aphasia. The voiceless alveolar stop is the most frequently occurring phoneme across the world's languages as the ease of its articulation lends itself quite well to its incorporation into the phonemic inventories of speakers across the globe. According to the sonority sequencing principle, the combination of a voice labiodental fricative followed by a voiceless velar stop is phonologically illegal within the constraints of this language. English, as utilized by neurotypical speakers, is a predominantly head-initial language, meaning, of course, that the head of any maximal projection in an X-bar-derived tree will appear prior to, or to the left of, its complement XP. The use of that particular cluster of phonemes in that sentential construction is semantically unrelated to the cluster of phonemes which was likely intended by the speaker. Take it away, Inigo! You keep using the word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Okay, so that was fun, right? Impress all of your friends at parties with your amazing and extremely useless vocabulary! Ha! Alright, some housekeeping to take care of, as if I hadn't already been talking for enough time. Obviously, I am in front of a different background. This is because the semester finally ended! Ha! And now I'm back at my parents' house. And since it's summer, I'm not really doing anything of any importance, so I'm hoping that this means that I can make more videos than I have recently. But since I have a little bit more time on my hands, I'm hoping to be able to use that time to learn how to actually use After Effects instead of just kind of clicking around aimlessly going, what does this do? So I thought a good way to do that would be to make an intro and or outro for my channel. Unfortunately, my design skills are very toilet, to borrow a phrase that I heard a middle school teacher use one time. So if anybody has any good ideas, throw it in the comments, especially if you actually throw it, because that would be really impressive. I kind of think my channel is having too much of an identity crisis to merit having an intro or outro, but you know, it's worth a shot. I've got a couple of ideas for some videos that I'm hoping to make sometime soon, so if you want exclusive access to the things that I make, 
make sure to subscribe. Here's hoping that I will see you very soon. Bye! Thank you.